Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is going to be all about where do animals go in the winter. So some animals go a long distance from where they usually live for a warmer weather and or for food. And this is called migration. And this can be done by all kind of animals, by sea, air, or land. On land, for example, there are animals called caribou. They live in northern Canada by Alaska, and they'll migrate all the way to southern Canada just for a milder winter and more food. In the sea, for example, there are the humpback whales. They normally live up in the northern Pacific Ocean by Alaska, and they'll travel all the way to the southern Pacific by Hawaii for warmer waters in the winter. And in the air, there's birds like the Arctic Tern, who live all the way up north in the North Pole, and they travel all the way to southern parts of South America for a warmer winter. And there are many other animals who migrate in the winter via sea, air, and land, even lions. <coughs> now there are other animals in the winter who instead of traveling far, they stay put, and that's called hibernation. So since it's so cold out and there's no food available for these hibernating animals, they will stock up and bulk up on food create a cozy little den or a hole, and they sleep all through the winter and then they wake up in the spring. One interesting fact about these hibernating animals, their heart and lungs move way slower while they're sleeping during hibernation to save on energy. So these animals can include like groundhogs, bats, bees, bears. Hey, thanks for coming out with us to learn all about migration and hibernation. Hey, so why'd the grizzly get a D in hibernation class? Well, because he did the bare minimum. <laughs> hey, so if you like this video and you want to see more things like this, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thank you and God bless you. Hey, Mr. Homeschool.